were with Shargoff. And Shargoff basically, since now we know DNA exists, Shargoff is kind of investigating what is DNA. And he came up with these principles or rules that are called Shargoff's rules. He discovered that however many adenines are found in a strand of DNA, there's going to be an equal number of thymine. However many guanines are found in DNA, there's going to be an equal number of cytosine. So if you want to add that it could also be inverted, and it still makes the same amount of sense. Because if you're looking at DNA, if you have a C on this side, what's going to be on the other side? G. Always. Paired up together. Rosalind Franklin. And unfortunately for her, she passed away and didn't get the full credit. There's a lot more involved. She actually had a partner who kind of deceived her a little bit and gave some information to uh, Watson. So that's how they ended up beating her to the line. She was the first to actually see the shape of DNA, which is double helix, using x-ray diffraction. And that's a picture of her and her x-ray. And then we have Watson and Creek, who actually built the first DNA model and won a Nobel Prize for it. Good, that's what it stands for, deoxyribonucleic acid. What's its job? Here's where it gets tricky. I know what you thought its job was. Let's see who already found out what its job was. It carries genetic material. All right, I could give you that. They carry and store genetic material. And it stores the instructions for each organism to recovery and helps it has the instructions for an organism to reproduce, survive, and develop. Wow. Yes. So we're going to go back to storing information for all processes, right? What else? What's a major process DNA is involved in? Can anybody find that? Yes. It, it's passed on through reproduction. Making of proteins. What did I tell you was the second hardest chapter in bio? Protein synthesis. We're there. So the building block of DNA is a nucleotide. Who can tell me what a nucleotide consists of? A phosphate group, a sugar group, and then a nitrous base. An N base. If you see the word N base instead of nitrogen base, it's the same thing. Who can name these bases? Adenine, thymine, and the cytosine. Good. And I promise you, I am not going to try to trick you and come up with creative A, T, G, and C words. If you see an A word and it resembles adenine, that's what it's going to be. Yes. I'm sorry?